This is the Fantasy Alarm NBA DFS Show with John Impemba and James Grande. What is going on, Evan Nation? John Impemba here with James Grande. Welcome into the Fantasy Alarm NBA DFS Playbook Preview Show. James and I are here to take a look at the Wednesday 8 game main slate. James, I know uh, many of you uh, out there are watching, uh, maybe watching whilst they're watching some MLB baseball uh, opening day Seoul series in Korea, 6 a.m. Eastern time on Wednesday. So maybe you got your baseball fixed. Now you're tuning in uh, for the NBA DFS preview of this slate here. Um, You know, pretty interesting slate, some fun matchups. And once again, uh, injuries uh, are going to be impacting uh, some matchups and some lineups we built today. Yeah, a lot of injuries. Uh, we got the news. Donovan Mitchell is going to miss the next week. Uh, Giannis and Tenacumpo is questionable going into the slate. I think that's probably... I mean, that game in general, the Milwaukee-Boston game, is super right. banged up. Uh, Jalen Brown on the injury report. Um, I think Drew Holiday also. Interesting, by the way, Holiday's a shoulder now. It's been an elbow for so long. Now he has yeah. a shoulder injury. Uh, Sam Hauser. Well, on his way to break the record, he's listed questionable. That would be a quick turnaround after. Um, yeah, I thought I saw that he was going to miss like a week or two, too. And now he's expected to be uh, questionable. To back. So that's crazy. Yeah. Um, so I guess he avoided the serious injury. So a lot of injury news in that game. Obviously, Toronto down was down RJ Barrett, as we know. Uh, also going to be down quickly. The Utah Jazz ruled a bunch of guys out. Uh, Larry Markinen already ruled out. Clarkson ruled out. John Collins. Uh, <laughs> Apparently concussed after getting not just dunked, like I mean, I don't even know if we could he just got demolished. Uh, yeah, I don't he kind of got like punched in the face during that. If yeah. you saw the slow-mo replay, like I, I I believe it, but also there's some pride probably damage there too. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit a tough, tough scenes for John Collins. Hopefully he's gonna be okay. Um and I think the other big piece of news was Jimmy Butler is listed questionable, possibly misses third straight game. So um I don't want to play a heat again. Uh, yeah, I pivoted Duncan Robinson the other day. Though. Yeah, so, you know, it happens. It happens. Uh, Matt, just we're looking at here. Miami, Cleveland, Cleveland's giving two and a half. Two or two and a half total there. Pacers, to Pistons, Pistons getting nine. 233 and a half. Bucks, Celtics, Celtics giving nine. 223. Sacramento, Toronto, Toronto getting nine and a half. 231. Utah, OKC, that's a 232 and a half game total. Utah, OKC giving uh 14 in that one we have memphis golden state here uh golden state giving 10 217 philly versus phoenix phoenix giving 9 to 20 and a half and clippers portland portland getting 11 and a half 215 total there in that one uh notable phoenix news is isaiah thomas is available to play for them. he is he is uh so uh i would not that we're going to be rostering him unless all of a sudden like everybody gets ruled out but right uh, yeah, well, we'll see what, what kind of run he gets in that in that team there uh, as we run down the stretch. Um, jumping into it, point guard position, SGA is 10-4, against Utah in OKC. Obviously, a fantastic spot for him there. Uh, Booker, Lillard, Fox round out your 9K range. Um, if you had to rank the four, how are you ranking them up? I mean, you know, this is kind of contingent on the honest news. I would say um, sure. I'm probably honestly per dollar ranked Dame one. I know it's a tough spot, but we've seen a couple times this year, team to himself, what he can do. Right. And and also Dame's been better um, at least in terms of ceilings lately. So I would say Dame one, if there's no Giannis, I think okay. by default SGA, if that game is at all competitive and what's a 14, some sports books have 15 point spread would be one, uh, but obviously he's 10 four. So it's, you know, you save $1,300 going to Dame. Um, I like Darren Fox. You talked about it the other day. I mean, especially when you're going to play 83 minutes, like it's, uh, it's one of those things where not really a great point per minute output there. <laughs> that's minutes, fair. That's you know, fair. Yeah. He could have been a little better. Um, okay. 83 minutes, uh, only 16 shots to in 83 minutes. You would think the volume would be a little higher. Um, no, I mean, I think that he's been kind of sick peripherally better than we've seen in, in like stretches yeah. where this has kind of been sustained, sustained peripheral stat stuffing. Um, 
and we know he can score, obviously. So I would, Fox would probably be right up there with SGA and and, and Lillard for me. Uh, Booker is fine, but sure. fully healthy team. The rest of the 8K tier is pretty interesting, though. Uh, I think the three point contest may have just ruined Ta- Terry Shalburn because oh he God. cannot make a shot, which is kind of sad to say because I mean, like fantasy wise, like everything else is kind of there. If he could just make some buckets, he would be exploding off the slate. At Detroit, it's going to give him another opportunity to get <laughs> going, right? Like pace up spot, good total. If he hits three more shots, then he is going for 50 in all of these games at $8,900. Um, in tournaments, I'd still be willing to go there. They even asked him about like a sports psychologist. I don't know if you saw that one uh, today. Um, you know, and he's just kind of working through it. Maxi at 88, Curry at 87 now. You got Harden at 86. Bain finally with the point guard eligibility. We're waiting for that one. That rounds out your 8K tier. Yeah, I think this tier is interesting. I mean, Dude, I don't know what to say about Halberton, right? It's it's hard to it's hard to like talk about because you're right. He's been great peripherally. He's been terrible offensively, like scoring. Specifically scoring, he's been terrible. He's shooting 16% from three over the last five games. Six for 36. Dude, he was a 40% three-point shooter. And now he's down to 30, just 35%. under 36. Yeah. yeah, like just under 36%. So like if there was a get right spot, it, like you would think it's a get right spot, but if we're talking sports psychologists, is there such a thing as a get right spot? Like he might just be mentally checked out, right? Yeah. Like it's, it's so, I mean, I'm, I'm good with it because it's Detroit, but I mean, it's just been bad when you could play a guy right below him who can make shots, at least uh, 30 actual and three straight games for Tyrus Maxey. Um, if they have any chance of staying competitive in that game, I would say Tyrus Maxey is a large reason why. Um, we talked about how bad he'd been peripherally. Hey, look, Way to go. Thanks. Almost triple doubles makes me look really smart. Um, Steph Curry, eh, it's been, you know, can get to him in tournaments always. Harden, been pretty, pre- playing pretty poorly last few, like four games. The Clippers in general have been playing pretty poorly over the last four games. Um, so I probably, I'm probably out on Harden. The main thing is interesting, John. He played 37 minutes in his second game back after two months. And I know we talked about it 30 Talk about it, yeah. But like he then was like, you know what I can do? I can even I can play even more minutes uh, the second game. So um, I must say, you should probably consider rostering Desmond Bain I like on it. this slate. Hundred dollars less than he was the other day as well, and, and he's. Come back shooting 41 and 37 yeah. percent. He is a 47 percent shooter on the year. Yeah, yeah. Tough, tough shooting night from three against Sacramento, but certainly the volume has been good to see. Dude, he goes for 60 if he if this is what we get, but plus made shots. He goes. Yep. He's gonna go for 60. Yeah, I, I like it. I'm a I'm a I'm a fan of Bain here at 81. Uh, 7K tier, Cunningham, Garland, Simons, White up to 75, Beal 72. Lavert Rozier rounding up the 7K tier. A lot of 7K guards here on this slate. Yeah, Cade's fine uh, if you don't like your players playing minutes. Um, of the 32, 4K coming in. Um, so he's fine. Garland is going to uh, come off a terrible game. He's going to nuke the slate because no one's going to play him against Miami. Dude, no, um, and nobody really played him last time either. They no played one really, the work, so. Yeah, no one really played him. Um, but... There's nothing bad other than missed shots, right? That's what we always you have to focus on. Like he took 18 shots. That's yeah. great. He had seven assists, six rebounds, two steals. All that is great. Just missed his shots, right? So uh, if you want to go to Darius Garland, high usage rate without um without a guy who's making his shots, Anthony Simons. Dude, he is just a he is a walking flamethrower when he gets going. And no Jeremy Grant. So it's it's going to be the same three, same three, right? You yep. could play Simons, you could play Scoot, you could play DeAndre. That's that's your Portland like. Scoot had a very bad game until he didn't. He came through in the second half. He had uh, for eight the, fantasy points at half, I think. Yeah, some, then, I think it was eleven, but yeah, 11. it wasn't it wasn't great. And then he came through with like twenty five or twenty six by by the time it was all said and done. There, um, Derek White. We talk about if guys are out for Boston, certainly <laughs> can give him a look at seventy five hundred dollars. Um, you had Bradley Beal on that other side of that matchup. Um, you know, he's obviously coming off of a 46 
fantasy point game. You know, Phoenix is slowly becoming, you know, like Boston and those other big teams. It's like, yeah, Durant one night, Booker a night, Beal a yep. night. Like you just, yep. you, if you pick the right guy on the right night, you'll probably have like a 10 percenter, yep. um, you know, go for 50 plus fantasy points here. It is a it is a decent spot, um, kind of given the matchup. But you know, I, I don't know how many people actually get to Bradley Beal here. Um, you have Lavert, as we mentioned. Everybody went to Lavert over Garland the other day. Went for fifty five fantasy points. Yep, Everybody's going to keep playing Lavert over Garland at this point. I think just because of um, I don't know. He, he even had the assist. Like Garland's not even assisting, right? It's Lavert is running the show here in in yep. uh, in Cleveland. So. Uh, 71 for him, and then Rozier again with no Butler. 20 shot attempts the last two games. You love seeing that out of the yep. guy. You just got to hit him. Yep, agreed. You And, you know, you can only get to Rozier if Butler's out. Yep. But, um, yeah, I, I like pretty much any of that tier. I, I agree on the Levert front. He's going to be more popular. Now in a tournament, maybe you're pivoting to Darius Garland if you, you know, if you think Levert's going to be too highly owned. Levert does have like better eligibility again too, so that's mm-hmm. something to to factor in. But um, I do agree. I, I think it's hard not to like Karis Levert right now it's, with what he's yeah. What he's uh, doing. When you move our way down into the list here, under seven K plays, County Georgia sixty seven, Jaden Ivy sixty six. Uh, Kate didn't play in that most recent game against Boston. Um, you know, Jaden Ivy did he had a had an okay day for what that game was twenty nine minutes, ten of nineteen. Uh, shooting. I don't imagine Cade sits this time out. I think it was just sort of a rest situation for him there against Detroit. So not probably not going to Ivy here. Uh, Bruce Brown, no quickly, no Barrett. Do you give Bruce Brown some looks here against Sacramento? Yeah, we saw what the minutes looked like, right? When everyone's back, but we likely see, we all tried to like play these like low end, low tier Toronto guards that yeah. didn't at all like freeman liberty and uh ramsey's like fine as a backup but that's what they are they're backup so yeah i think bruce brown is a little bit interesting uh like kind of just running the show here um delano bandon still got 33 minutes he did he did um he so there was a lot of foul trouble from um murray Mm -hmm. who started that game i believe he had I want to say he had the three fouls that he finished with like in the first quarter maybe maybe in the first half um but i mean if like if banton is still going to play and approach 30 minutes it's it's worth mentioning but like the only thing i'll say is he's 5600 and he's in a scenario where scoot isn't limited and i know scoot only played 30 minutes but was that 30 minutes because he had he missed all the shots and had turnovers. Like, well, I think that's what got us with Scoot. Was like they said no minutes limitation, and we jumped to like thirty-seven minutes or on their way, and he played thirty. Yeah, right? but all, but also, I that could have been a case where okay, Scoot is clearly struggling tonight, right? You're Chauncey Billups, like, yeah. Let's not push this any further. They're clearly still trying to be competitive and semi working. I mean, it was a competitive game against Chicago until they lost, but. Um, six turnovers, thirteen missed shots. I, I feel like maybe your your leash is like a little shorter in that instance. Where now maybe moving forward, you see the low, mid, high thirty minute games sure. for Scoot. Um, I, I'm I'm like I know what you're saying with Ben. I'm okay with it. I would still rather play Scoot Henderson. I think at fifty four hundred. If I'm okay. if I'm picking between Blazer, point guard. Sure. I think there's probably a greater likelihood of Banton getting cut, then Scoot getting cut. Correct. Well, right. So, yeah. yes, for sure. Uh, Giddy's 54. Pritchard's up to 5K. Uh, again, could have no Drew Holiday. He played 38 minutes, 43 and 37 fantasy points last, last two he games. He doesn't come off the floor. He doesn't come off the floor. No. They, they leave him in in every situation. They hate him this offseason. So, I mean, like, if no Drew Holiday or, or no, you know, maybe no Jalen Brown, like, I don't know. There's, Definitely room for Pritchard, um, but would you pay the five K for him? Um, if Drew and Jalen are out and Hauser, yes. So because, they all have to be up for him to be playable. Well, I think here's the thing: like, let's say one of them are out. Let's say it's Drew. Yeah. And Hauser plays. We know Hauser in that scenario starts. Right. Right. 
or maybe they go Al. Maybe they do like the the hard yeah, double. They big. might go they, double big versus Milwaukee. Milwaukee, right? So you could do double big. That doesn't help Pritchard at yeah. all. Like you know, so because we've seen Hauser basically upsurp him in most yeah. of these scenarios. So I would need. How about one of them plus Hauser? Like one of the starters plus Hauser. Sure. Prefer preferably Drew plus Hauser, because um, then obviously the guard room's a little. A little uh, Chris Dunn came back, played twenty seven minutes. Yeah. Um, After and, playing 24, and now they're yeah, right? a bunch of injuries. Right. Yeah. 44 there. Uh, Goodwin got 20. He was in the G. He was in the G League. Okay, so he didn't play. Okay. Didn't play. They started Bane. That was they started Bane. Oh, that was the Bane game. Right, 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 right. Uh, Beverly 4K. If um, is uh, what's Beasley's deal? He's back. Uh, 27, he played... 26, 29 minutes the last three games though for Patrick Beverly. I know he's such a low floor. Uh, I played him. I played him in that start. He had like eleven fantasy points. Yeah. Um, I'd be more interested in this. Uh, Keon Ellis, thirty seven hundred. Kevin Herter already out. Sure. Um, Kevin Herter got hurt in that game. Ellis started the second half. Dude, 27, 28, 29, 34 minutes for Keon Ellis the last four games. Yeah. Three of them over twenty fantasy points. Five obviously, blocks for a guard. obviously that is. I mean, that's obviously not sustainable. Right. But um, he just doesn't shoot. Right, like low. It's Patrick Beverly for three hundred dollars cheaper. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, I got nothing else down here. You got anything? I got to move on to shooting guard with you. Shooting guard, we go. Uh, Jalen Brown is eighty seven hundred dollars. Paula George is eighty four. A lot of these other guys we've discussed already. Sexton seventy three would be the next name there. Yeah, I think we saw the he came off the bench again and he played the most minutes of any player on the Utah Jazz. <laughs> so um it is not a great spot, but he's we kind of talked about it. He's going to they want I guess they want someone in that Clarkson role. Yeah. He fills the void. I wonder what they do with Markinen gone now too, right? Like does Sexton just go back into the starting lineup with Markinen not there? I don't know. Um but if you're going to play 30 plus minutes no Larry Markinen, no Jordan Clarkson, He's going to continue to lead the team in usage. So. Agreed. And and what if Collins sits too? That, that's three of their top five guys scoring, and then it's and then Keontae George and and Colin Sexton are just looking at each other like, who's going to shoot? You, me? All right, that uh, just us the rest of the night. Okay. So yeah, Sexton in tournaments is fine. Okay. Uh, Mid tier range. Um, Ubre's here. Uh, Vince Williams questionable, doubtful. He's doubtful. Williams. Yeah, they, they, it looks like uh, a very short-handed team. They're they're without Canard again. Uh, Vince Williams on the injury report. They had somebody else um, on the injury report. Where is Memphis? They're in the 10, 10 o'clock game. Um, Aldama is on the injury report again too. So they're going to be pretty much status quo with uh, their, their sure. Leader. Uh, Monk, Trent, Grayson Allen had a big game the other night. Um, I mean, what is happening with Grayson Allen right now? Everybody's playing and he's going off. Yeah, I mean, he's he, he can make through. I mean, dude, there's just so much attention on the other three guys, right? And he just is like, just hey, knocking down shots. hey, I'm open if you want to. Um, I'm trying to find what uh, Monk actually played in not 80 minutes. Yeah. Uh, he played 40 minutes, so that's pretty good. Uh, the the number is not 80, but he did play 40. Looking at it, um, box score here. So, if you're gonna get 40 minutes out of Monk, that's a it's a plug. That's a plug. That's a dude. That's a play. Shooting guard, small forward, 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. I mean, yep. yeah. Uh, a 5k range for you. What's the what's the deal? What are we doing with with Norm? Uh, Norm is questionable. Uh, what got who got the minutes for uh for Cl the Clippers here? Is it man? Uh T Man, they played Amir Coffee. Don't want um, that. But it's just all loaf. It's nothing, all nothing we're looking at. But Terrence Mann is um on the injury report too. He's expected to play, but is on the injury report. Just okay. keeping something in mind. Um the, the I don't think there's anything in the five K tier. I do think um it is a low floor. I get it. Uh, John Concher was very good the other night. Another guy, you're, you're going to look at the minutes and you're going to say, what is happening? Um, he played a lot of minutes. 
I think we've just gotten like we know that John Contra is one of those dude. He's like kind of Kyle Anderson ish, right? Like he's the rebound. Not gonna, He's defense. not going to shoot. Yeah, he's not going to shoot. I played 35 minutes in that game. So, dude, he's going to play 35 minutes at, at $4,500 with Desmond Bain and Jaron Jackson alongside of him, with Gigi Jackson alongside of him. I mean, there's a good chance he's a now possibly no Santi Aldama. Like, why did his price go down? $200. So, mm-hmm. uh, I'm... Highly intrigued by Contra. I, I know he's a low floor shooter, but he is very good peripherally. So I would have interest there. Yeah. Um, do we go with Grady Dick? I mean, the minutes are definitely going to be there for him if everybody's out. Um, 39, 36 minutes when those guys were out of the lineup before. I know the shooting hasn't been great. And, but we talk about it. When these guys are out of the lineups, there's a chance for him to maybe do more. I mean, what's that starting lineup going to He's He's going to start. We yeah, know that. Start. I would assume Brown. Like, who, who's the scorers on this team? Brown, Dick, Trent, o, Olenek, Trent, and who? Uh, Akbaji. Akbaji, probably. Yeah, they've been starting Akbaji. Where's uh, Trent's price tag at? Right there, he's expensive. Yeah, he's expensive. Do you have to plug in? Get Gary Trent can take 26 shots again. 22 shots those two games here. I, I mean, I think Gary Trent is definitely going to shoot. Can you uh, Bruce, start lineups with Monk Trent? I mean, like in terms of Toronto, like what is your because they obviously there's so much need for is like who do you prioritize here? Because like Nawar has been really good off the bench. McDaniels is dead. He doesn't play anymore. Yeah. Nawar has completely taken all his minutes. Agbaji's playing 30 minutes again. And both those guys are like so much cheaper than like Gary Trent. Oh, Linux price is depressed because he's been in foul trouble. Like, I don't Maybe know. This I, isn't a great match for Linux. Yeah, it's a tough, <laughs> a really tough spot. Like, it's probably. I, I'm. I'm not. I'm not like totally out on Grady Dick. I'm also just not because he played in that Detroit game. I played him in the Detroit game, and they were missing a bunch of players, and he started in. Like, that's a game you can get out of Grady Dick. And when you look at it, I know we got the game against Denver. He went nuclear. Yeah, it's, were... not, it's the difference, as we say all the time. It's the difference of making shots and not making shots, right? Yeah. Okay. Here, I'm going to – I'll spitball this, okay? Sure. Grady Dick or John Contra? I mean, and and answer how you answer how you feel. It's like, probably Contra is a safer play. I won't argue with that. Grady Dick or Chris Dunn? Oh, I go Dick there. Grady Dick or Stanley Yamudi? Well, we did all... the Yamudi last time. Do you think he starts again if there's no, if there's Cade back? No. no um, Asar Thompson out. Isaiah Stewart out. Uh, Quentin Grimes out. Possibly Simone Fantacchio is questionable. So four of their top. Uh, like four of their top, like seven yeah. out. Okay, could be him or Fournier, right? It'd be him or I would assume him or Fournier. Yeah, and Fournier he got the start last time, so I guess it could just be him. So if in a scenario uh, Simone is out and you Moody, I think I still go Grady Dick here. You'd go Grady Dick there's over more shots. Moody? Yeah, there's just more shots available for him. Again, <laughs> his problem is just missing the shots. He's taking the shots. Yeah, just not hitting them. Um. What did Merrill end up doing in that game? 24 minutes. He's okay. Nembard, 30 plus minutes. He's been eh. They played um they played Marcus Morris 20 minutes. Did they? Okay. Yeah. He cut it. I mean, Merrill got limited because Morris. I mean, Morris has always been a guy who could play three and the four. So like yeah. you, can, you don't need to extend Merrill in that scenario. All right. That's probably it here. We'll figure that line about when we get some more news throughout the day. Uh, small forward, you get, again, you get Tatum here uh, at dual position eligibility. Same thing with Kawhi, Butler's 8K. Siakam 77 probably sits pretty good here. Yeah, that's, that's given who not. he's going to be matched up with, right? Yeah, the should minutes suck again. I don't, I don't get it. I mean, the 32 minutes against Cleveland. I saw people um, in uh, Nuggets Twitter, or not Nuggets Twitter, um, Pacers Twitter talking about them playing the starters and Toppin over Siakam last game at 
like in the fourth quarter. So that's interesting, but uh, I mean, it's a really good spot for him. It is a great spot for him. Uh, I, I, and it's a good price. So I, I definitely like that. Um, Toby was ruled out the other day. Grant's doubtful. Toby's, Toby's questionable. He went for a 50 bomb. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess if he's out again, we give Kelly Oubre a, a strong look here. Yep. Uh, Middleton, 25 minutes. Dude, he was so good. If Dude, if there's no Giannis, I don't yeah. know what the ramp up's going to be, but if there's no Giannis, I mean, now here's the problem. 25 minutes out of the jump for him. Dude, 25 minutes out of the jump. Um, ramp up break right to the postseason. Chris Middleton or small forward, power forward, Gigi Jackson. Yeah. Knowing that <laughs> Santi Aldama... Man played eighty four minutes the other day. It's like it doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? Like we? It's, <laughs> it's a good. It's it's a good bit for the show though. So it is a good. It is. It is a good, good bit. bit for the show. Yeah, we can no complaints here. Um, <laughs> I would play like Middleton's. I I do like the sixty two hundred. We're t- we've. This is like the same conversation we had earlier in the year, right? When like Middleton was coming back, we're like, when is it like too? When is it too cheap for Middleton? Right. Six, if 62, if he were to get like 28 minutes, 62 wouldn't be too cheap, especially if there's no Giannis. Like if Giannis doesn't play and Middleton, they tell us Middleton's going to play 25 minutes, what would you, what is your thoughts? I'd probably play GG. What about if they told us that it's 28 to 30 for Middleton? It's still Boston for probably. Me. It's still probably GG because GG's also possibly without Aldama. Um, I agree. I think it's. I think it's pretty definitively GG uh, Jackson. Yep, I'm with you on that one for sure. Um, if Fontecchio plays, I definitely would be going there at 57. Yeah, I think that's fine. Um, if no, dude, um, Duggan Robinson already out. I mean, yeah, he's already out. Yep. Hot has got 35 minutes. He didn't. He missed his shots, but another good night for him. Um. I didn't really even factor in the Duncan Robinson thing when it came to Terry Rozier. That definitely, I think, is helping him out a little bit. What's the rest of that group looking like? Who's getting the run? They played um, Caleb Martin. Yeah, 35. And uh, they played Haywood Highsmith. Like a bunch of minutes. 26. I think they also extended Thomas Bryant a bunch. And they played... Um, they didn't really, like... Right they six. weirdly gave Bam only 16 minutes, and I don't know if that was the second Dude, like, back-to-back. Patty Mills played 20. Yeah, he did. I, it's so it's so strange to me that, like, how certain teams view players, right? Like, yeah. he could not crack the rotation in Atlanta, but is playing. I mean, I think the Robinson injury probably, probably contributed a little bit to that. Um, I like Highcats a lot here, 5500 bucks. Yeah. I mean, he's a guy who can stuff the stat sheet. Right. I mean, and, similar price points. Would you rather play Hot Kez or, or uh, Martin? Probably Hot Kez. Um, Martin 57 power forward, only Hot Kez small forward, power forward to 55. I'd probably lean Hot Kez multi position eligibility. A little, give him a little bit of the edge, a little cheaper too. Starts. They had, did not start Caleb Martin last game. But right. that could obviously change. Like change yeah. If exactly. there's no if there's no Jimmy, they just run like Rozier. I mean, Rozier played, you know, can play the two, was playing the two. It could be a spot where maybe Delon Wright. Delon Wright or Patty Mills start at yeah, the point guard, true. right? Yeah. Delon Wright played 16 minutes last game. Yeah. With Patty Mills playing 22. So like they clearly dispersed minutes. Yeah. Um, and and Delon Wright in that one spot start was really, really good. Uh, 30 fantasy points. So definitely something to pay attention to for Miami. We'll know that news and line up before roster lock. Yeah, here. good. Seven o'clock game. Great. Uh, Acoro, 33 minutes. You know, the, the scoring has tapered off a little bit. Yeah. You know, so the fantasy points have dumped on a little bit as well. But um, you kind of know what you're getting with him if you decide to roster him there. Uh, what's worse playing these days? Mid 20s, still pretty good. Uh, last game out against Milwaukee. Um, uh, Niang playing a lot of minutes. Yep. Yeah. Got off to a good start. Didn't do too much other than hit his threes. That was about it. Yep. Uh, where else are you looking at here? Anybody? Um, yeah. I mean, if, if Santi sits LaRavia, Johnny played 40 minutes. That is a real number. 
It has actual the, run that That's the actual yes. minutes number for him. The okay. actual minutes. Uh, he played forty. Okay. Have, so everybody, have, all the wrong numbers for everybody else. Jake Laravia. Jake Laravia forty one. <laughs> um. <laughs> I mean, what are we? There's there's something there. Um. Yeah, forty three for Gigi, forty for Jaron, thirty eight for Santi. He's questionable, by the sure. way. Uh, 37 for Bain, 35 for Contra, 40 for LaRavia, 16 for Giroux, 13 for Jemison. They didn't have anyone else active. Sure. So actually, if Aldama sits, they might have to uh, dress somebody. That might have to be Jordan Goodwin. <laughs> <laughs> Just to have him. He, they, no, like if they don't have, uh, yeah. if they don't, they might not have. Um, look, just looking at this box score. Zaire Williams did not dress. Vince Williams did not dress. Lamar Stevens, not with team. Luke Kennard, not with team. They don't have. Wayne Gabriel, I think his 10 day, his 10 day ran out. Like they don't have, uh, right? Wayne Gabriel's not on the team anymore. Yeah. Is he? Yeah, became a free agent. His his 10 days up. So they need a either Goodwin to suit up and play or Santi Aldama to suit up and play. For them to be uh, able to play, against yeah, them. or just suit up, just, just suit up, correct, correct, correct. correct. So, um, yeah, that works for me. Uh, Fournier got twenty minutes in that game, so miss all the shots. Maybe that contributed to playing less time, but uh, we'll see what happens with Detroit in that game. Ag- there. Agbaji, that's my floor sure. too. Yeah, I mean, low, 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 low floor. Thirty-seven hundred, but he's playing a bunch of minutes. I know he had like that one random game. Yeah, you don't need. We don't. You know what? Just move on. We don't need to talk about it. Uh, power forward. You have Giannis at eleven four. He's been a Boston killer most of his career. Um, Celtics. He's getting, still averaging fifty fantasy points against them. I think the Celtics have handled. Well, do you remember? Yeah, the one remember, blowout game. Yeah, yeah the yeah. game where they bent. Everyone got benched. They blew uh, Boston bench everyone in half. Yeah, because second they had an overtime back to back. Basically, yeah, right? that was the brutal. That was terrible. The terrible game. scheduling. Uh, and then they lost in Boston, one sixteen, one nineteen. So, um, you know, Giannis here, eleven four. Uh, Tatum at ninety nine, Durant ninety four. All three of them very much in play if you want to get there. No yeah, I, I have, I have no issues. Uh, I, I would say Durant's just probably at the end of that, but like, can't yeah. we know he has a ceiling and the minutes are amazing. Yep. Again, the last couple of games for him, it's because uh, you know <laughs> Beal's going off, right? Yep. It's like these yep. guys. No, you're right, dude. You're 100 <laughs> percent right. It's we're just in that another team who has three stars, and you're like, all right, well, on a given night, it's well, could be anybody. Yeah, right yeah. Now, right. good luck. Um, Leonard, I mean, I, I like Jaron Jackson in this spot. Um, 27 shot attempts, dude. Like it just <laughs> 27 shots. They put 40 minutes. I know. Yeah, salute. You know what? Salute to Jaron Jackson in this one. He did foul out. And that's inevitable. But he played 40 minutes against Sabonis. You know, good for you. Good for it you. Kept him from playing 86. So I mean, <laughs> like, you know. uh, hey, you did, Jake Laravia, Jaron Jackson, the only two Grizzlies with. I wonder if it's updated here. live here. I should go back and check some of the other guys and see if they're still. Uh, contra, contra at 80, right? So yeah, something like that. Yeah. Um, Kawhi 87 against Portland, uh, Porzingis 79. I mean, on, on the injury report, he played 21 minutes. They didn't need him for any more than that. So like, wasn't, did like you see, did you see what happened? I see what happened with Porzingis in that yeah. game. Dude, he played six first half minutes. Okay. And then like, there was no reporting on it. He just was on the bench. They just played him like, or it was eight minutes. He played like the first eight minutes of the game. And then there was no reporting on it. And then Underdog put out a tweet: Chris F. Porzingis starts the second half. I did see that. I did see that Porzingis starts the second half. Yeah. There yeah. was no injury. They just limited him, dude. And I think like we were like half right, where we we're like we, they don't need him, and it's Detroit, right? Like yeah. they don't need. Well, he was only half playing. Like he played twenty. I really don't think he is a very game to game like reliable dfs play right now sure. i'm not saying he can't go out for 50 fantasy points in in 28 minutes but none of these games mean anything to the celtics they right? have a 10 game lead in the eastern conference like it's 
maybe they're like, all right, let's just put the nail in the coffin here against Milwaukee and just like yeah, Milwaukee at home, just blow them out of the water and you know, call and then, it a day, and then you see Porzingis rest of regular season. Because they kind of did that with Horford, right? Like early year, they were doing that with yeah. Horford. And now Horford, you see when nights where Porzingis doesn't play, Horford's playing 30 plus, and you're like, oh, right, there was a ramp up. Well, yeah. Porzingis, they're just like, get us to the and we keep saying it, but um, I, I'm I'm a little bit out on the zinger thing, and if he beats me, he beats me. Sure. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, you mentioned Jalen Williams, uh, or not mentioned, but Jalen Williams currently the cover of the uh, live stream that we have set up for five o'clock Eastern time here tonight. Uh, 35, 35 minutes back to that games over 40 fantasy points in both of them. So can we, can we explain this one? And I'd love an explanation why Jalen Williams is not over 7k. He goes for 47 and 46 fantasy points. And he's, they're just like, you know what? A matchup against Utah really merits uh, the same price tag under 7k. He's averaging 40 fantasy points in three games against them this year. So dude, I, I just like, I, I understand this could be ugly fast, but like, do you, I mean, I'd be more willing. I'd almost be more willing to play Jalen in this spot than like SGA. Like SGA is ten six. If we have three quarters of SGA versus three quarters of Jalen, I'm much more confident in the three quarters. Yeah, sixty nine hundred dollars for sure. For sure, no arguments. Uh, Kaminga sixty six. Kelly O with power forward center eligibility here at sixty five. Um, I guess a Draymond is Draymond probable? Questionable. Draymond questionable. Sits. TJD. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. Uh, Bobby Poe, obviously, if there's no Giannis. Mm-hmm. We talked Memphis and Mar- our Gigi and Martin already. Hakez, uh, we discussed Hendricks, probably super interesting here if Collins sits. Yeah, I mean, he started alongside Mark in that last game, too. Yeah. 20 minutes, you know, classic. Uh, but no Mark in, there should be no, no reason. Uh, Kessler did play a lot of minutes off the bench in that game. Um, so they could, th- in theory, like, but. I think if there's no Collins, it's just one of those situations. Unless he's playing terribly or is in foul trouble, he should close and play over 30 minutes here. Yeah, no, I agree with you 100. I think I think he's a strong play um, on this slate. Um, where else did you go for value at power forward here? Mm. I mentioned Nawara. He did play, dude. He's playing pretty well. Um, over, he's a good, he's a good scorer, Jordan Nawara. Like he can just score the basketball. So. Um, Nawara is okay. Uh, if Jovic and Butler sit, would you give any consideration to Haywood Highsmith? I don't know. He's another low floor play. He is a, right. such a low floor play. I know we we're gonna. I mean, I'm already. I already like have kind of settled on like Keon Ellis as a low floor play to me. Yeah. Um, what do you make of Marcus Morris playing 20 minutes? Dude, he had 14 points, four rebounds, hit four, hit four threes. He's 3600, 3600 dollars. 20 minutes off rip. I'm Gets fine. Signed. Yeah. I'm fine. If you want to play, he's going to play. I mean, I, I've I've been like super confused to, as to why Marcus Morris wasn't a Clipper to start the year. Right. Like, that was a weird thing, and the Clippers just like decided to go like in weird routes, and their bench kind of sinks, right? Like outside yeah. of Norman Powell, they don't really have a lot of depth. So yeah, I hear you. Uh, yeah, listen, if he's going to get the 20 minutes, I mean, obviously, again, he he hit five of seven, four or five. Yeah. So, yeah. like, you know, if he doesn't do that again, you're looking at another guy that's going to give you 10 sure. fantasy points. But, sure. um, yeah, encouraging to get him get him to run there. Um, anybody else? I don't think so. Okay. Center position. Sabonis is 10-7. I told you the other day I was playing Sabonis versus Memphis. He played 40 minutes. He had 59 fantasy points. Can't really <laughs> be upset with what you got out of him there. Yep. Uh, now he gets strong out. Uh, Bam does have kind of a tough matchup, obviously going up against Jared Allen. Likewise, Jared Allen's going to have himself a tough matchup going up against Bam, but you know, some really good numbers here from Bam. No Butler, no Robinson. We think no Butler. We know no Robinson. Um, so certainly someone to, to peek at, uh, your boy sleeping on a mattress, DeAndre Ayton, another 50 fantasy points for him. Now he's got the Clippers, usually a good matchup for centers. I'm playing him tomorrow. I don't care. Okay. I like, dude, it's the minutes, it's the rebounds. He's blocking at least a shot a game. He's scoring because his his back is feeling refreshed. Yeah. I mean, Start trying to sleep, you know, no more, no more water bed. He, he got the hotel bed <laughs> treatment this time, you know, like. True. I mean, dude, it's, a, it's 
he's just been so good. I don't know what else to say. Like no, shoot, salute to, salute to this guy who's former number one overall pick. Um, this is the best basketball he's ever played. Agreed. Um, 7K still has a lot more players than in Nurkic, Chet, um, Collins, if he's if he's active or not. Uh, Jared Allen was 81. Uh, do you have a favorite of the mid-tier, or is there another center that you're targeting specifically here? Um, I mean, Chet, 72, is a, is a great price tag. Um, there's been some, like, low floors out of Chet lately, but also some super high ceilings. And we've also gotten some really good minute games out of Chet which is something of uh, I've been concerned with 35, 32, 32 minutes, the last three games. Um, so I'm okay with getting to chat. Jalen Duran is very good at basketball when he stays out of foul trouble and stays a blow. It's hard. I had the uh, over 11 and a half rebounds. He has nine and 22 minutes. Never yeah, gets back on the floor. I mean, it's, yeah, it's tough. Um, I don't mind this spot. He's been really good against them this year. Uh, we know Miles Turner is a very bad rebounding big. So I, I'm I Dern in tournaments. Conversely, Miles Turner good in tournaments. Uh, he's had it, so much success against Detroit this year. Forty three yeah. fantasy points per game against them on the year. Um, so I'd be okay getting to some Turner. Olenek is solid. Uh, you already mentioned Portis, but like obviously that's a plug. I don't even care if it's Boston. Yeah. I mean the value but, the value down here is interesting. Kessler, right? Dude, he was really good. He was really good. Um, the other day they keep kind of start at center and have almost no competition right if no collins can't and all that. Score, dude he just can't sc- dude he misses like open layups like a lot and like lobs he's like nine feet tall he's like missing i know but he's due for like a five block game i know it, it may not ha- it may not come here but like he's due for it if if draymond is out and john collins is out probably go tjd TJD is pro like almost without question starting, right? Because he played 26 minutes in the game Draymond played yeah, and didn't miss. And we know that obviously Memphis for centers is the is the play. So it's I think it's TJD for sure. Yep. I would agree. No arguments for me. Um anybody else? I mean, we've had some comments in the chat before, but Wiseman, Wiseman got all the ball run. He played the final 16 minutes of that game. So take that for what it's worth. But this to blow up. No, definitely the blowout. You played the, oh, the do you game. think this is going to be a blowout? Oh, so I don't know if it's going to be a blowout, but he was still clocking in around, I mean, except for this game. 16 like, minutes. Yeah, like 12, 18, 16, 19. Like, he's been pretty good. It depends on Duran, right? Yeah. Like, if they extend Duran 32, he plays 16 because they sure. split 48 minutes. There's no Isaiah Stewart, so they're going to yeah. split minutes. They're going to split. Uh, John Day's playing over 20 minutes tonight. <laughs> So can plug that if you wanted to as well. You Jaylen mentioned Smith. Thomas Bryan saying 16. Jalen Smith was chalked the other day. He was really good. Minutes. Yeah. He's really good. Yep. yep. Dude, look at these fantasy outputs. Four of the last five. And like even at 3,900, if you got the 15 fantasy point game from Jalen Smith, like he's 39. His price is going down, yet giving you 20 plus fantasy points in four or five. I don't quite understand that. Uh yeah. I, I hear you. Um that it? Does Jert seven play? Um, if Collins is out, played eighteen minutes against Memphis in Minnesota in that game. Not the second one though. He right the first one. So no Markinen, no Collins, no Col- possibly no Collins. If if there's possibly no Collins, because I think was Hendricks out for that first Minnesota game, or did Hendricks return for both Minnesota games? I think Hendricks um, was, wasn't Hendricks there for that. Hendricks might have played both. Hendricks played both Minnesota games. Um, yeah, I guess there's a case for some year seven. They're going to have uh, to have a backup five. Yeah. Well, they've also been playing like – so we, we've been down this road before. Uh, here, here's some here's some updates. Okay, um, Memphis signing guard DeJean Giroux. That's the guy they second, have. Okay. Yeah. Ten, a second 10-day hardship contract, though. So his contest ten day was up. So okay. he's he's going to be on their roster again for this game. Yeah. So they have. So he's part of the eight. I was counting. Right. So Vince Williams, you assume is out because he's listed doubtful. So it's Jackson Bain. I'll count Aldama right now because he's questionable. Jack, uh, Gigi Jackson, Laravia, 
Conjure, Jemison, Giroux. That's eight. Goodwin would be nine. How do they not call up Goodwin at this point? If there's no Aldama, Goodwin's eight. They would have to. That would be they would be required to call him up. Unless they gave Wayne Gabriel, unless we get another update from Woj that says Wayne Gabriel signed Wayne Gabriel second ten day. Um, so unless so in that scenario, does Goodwin probably starts right, and then we're back on Jordan Goodwin at forty one hundred. I would feel like that probably be the case. Like I'm not playing Jordan Goodwin unless he's starting. I'm just saying. No, we've been over that one. You can't trust it. Yeah. Uh, what are what are we doing here? Yeah, and Ellis, 37. I mean, there's a lot of low floor. There's a lot of low floor value, but there were I felt like there was a ton of value ones. Uh, we don't have to. Monk. Power forward. Laravia, 46. Laravia is probably good. Guard. Chris Dunn. What was Hot Kez? 55. See a guard or just a forward? Or just a forward. You could play, you could play um, I think Trent is Trent. No, Monk. Monk's got it. I got it. I was gonna say you can move um, Trent right. to So we did Ellis. That gives us an 87 spend at Util. Should be Triple J. I mean, we can move Bane. off of we can move off DeAndre Aiden if you felt obligated to. No, well, here we go, another one. Um, signing Brazilian forward Mozina <laughs> Pereira. <laughs> hey, please say the name. <laughs> Mozina. Please, please say the name. You know how to say the name? No, of course not. But I'm not the one. Maz- I'm, not the one Maz- making, Maz- I'm not the one. I'm not the one making the announcement. <laughs> Anyway, so I don't think Aldam is playing. If they're signing mul- I mean, he's, multiple he's, ten day hardship contracts, and, and and I don't think Goodwin's getting the call either in this scenario. Seems like not. So okay, so knowing that, right? If both of these guys, Giroux and Pereira, are on their on the roster, and they have mm-hmm. six guys with those six guys yeah. plus the two hardship players, yeah, dude, Contra's forty five. GG 61, Bane's 81. Like, it's a great, it's like a good spot. Like, Golden State yeah. might not have Draymond. They've been sputtering. I don't know, dude. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to say it. Memphis, Memphis is going to win me some money on, uh, on this late. Like, move off Aiden, put Triple J in the, in the, what are you looking for here? GG? Yeah, it's where's... Gregory. They have him at Greg, and he's off forward only. Uh, what do I have? I'll go with you. He's a small uh, Gregory Jackson. You know, Monk back at guard. Let's see. Laravia. <laughs> oh, there's Laravia guard? No, oh, no, we have a guard. Uh, Contra? Contra. I'm, I'm all in on Memphis. I've never been more in on Memphis. Back to 89 for Util. Bam. That Bam. Bam. Maxi. Halliburton. You have all you have any three of them. If like if Butler doesn't play, Bam. If you want to play Halliburton in a potential spot against Detroit. Dude, like you know when Halliburton when the shot starts falling, he's going to like score 70 actual, like in a game. Really? Like, yeah. Kinda... Yes, yeah, comes in a good spot. A little fair. Can we get off of Keon Ellis? Let's see. What can we do if we get off of Keon Ellis? 63. I don't really care for Keon Ellis here. Let's make a little Karis, maybe. It's a 55. Go Scoot. You think? Yeah, I mean, Scoot's fine. Hendricks? I would say Scoot has a higher ceiling. He He had that 60 fantasy point game earlier. Okay. And that's easy. That's an easy pivot to like TJD if um, sure if Draymond's out. Agreed. All right. So Karis, Monk, Hakez, Jalen Williams, DeAndre Ian, Contra, Jackson, and Henderson uh, could certainly fill in way more Memphis plays 
if you wanted to. And, uh, you know, we'll see where we go with our top spends uh, on this lead as well. Uh, our guy Dylan was on the playbook. Uh, we'll be back live at 5 p.m. Eastern time to get you all ready for this eight-game main slate. Till then, everybody, we'll catch you later.